right, hello guys. Welcome to day five of my Green Juice Fast. I've been doing the other videos on Instagram, so if you want to see my day three and four videos, I've been teaching something new every day. And today I'm going to be talking about beet greens, beet greens, and beets. Now, those of you who know me and know I do mainly keto uh, probably realize I, that beets are a little higher glycemic, but when you're on a juice fast, sometimes you need a little extra energy and you need a little extra help with the cleansing. And there's so many amazing benefits to beet greens and to beets that I thought, I was, yesterday I was at the store just like stocking up on celery and cucumber and lemon. I'm like, why don't I get some beets? It just was really calling to me. So then I looked up the benefits of beet greens because I'm like, why are beet greens so good for us? And first thing is it boosts your libido. Always a good thing. Uh, it's full of chlorophyll. Now I talked on day one, I think, or the, on my day three of my fast, about chlorophyll being really important in your juices. If you're just using celery and cucumber, you're not gonna get the high chlorophyll, pure joy benefits. Now anything that's dark and leafy green is going to give you a lot more chlorophyll, which gives you higher energy, more alkalinity, and just more minerals in general. The darker the green, generally the more mineral rich, but since this has got a lot of red in it, red, uh, things like uh, red, orange, yellow, all the colors have something called phytonutrients in them, and each color provides a different nutrients. And Gabriel Cousins talks about eating the rainbow. So this is a great opportunity to eat some red or drink some red juice. Um, and it's great for your eyes and your skin. If you have anemia, a lot of people that are vegan ask me, what do I do if I have anemia? People talk about beets, but the beet greens are really good too. Uh, electrolytes, you know, we get low in magnesium and potassium, super high. Well, not super high, but very higher in iron, potassium, and magnesium than other vegetables are. Um, it maintains a healthy blood pressure. It boosts your mood, like I already talked about. And then the actual beets I'll talk about in a minute. Let's get the juice going. I want to show you guys my Green Star Juicer. This is what it looks like, Green Star. I've had this for probably 15 years. If, yeah, I'm going to take it apart and just kind of show you how it works. This little thing here is just the top to keep dirt from getting in if you're storing it in the garage or wherever you're storing it. It comes with this hood thing, which is just kind of like to protect all the mechanisms. This is the Elite, so this is like there's all kinds of green stars out there. But for people that are wondering why we would use something like a green star versus just a centripetal juicer, is because instead of having these chewing blades, which really oxidizes your juice and will separate the water from the from the juice, like you'll see the beet stuff will float to the top and then just all water on the bottom. When your juice separates, the integrity is a lot lower. So by pressing it with metal blades, not even blades, but metal pressing thingies, uh, it um, protects the cell wall, so you're not breaking the cell walls down. So you just want to stick that, you have to line these dots up. You can see that, and then you just stick it right into your juicer. And someone asked me yesterday about like how, oops, I think I did that wrong. I need to put this on first, and then I, that's kind of just one of the pieces, and then I just slide that in. And I, you kind of kind of jiggle it into place. Yep. And then this little thing is where the juice comes out. And I'm using the larger holes, if you can see that. Um, someone asked me yesterday how I keep the juicer from getting clogged with cucumber. And the larger hole juicer or uh, screen helps with that. And um, then I use a nut milk bag just to filter out any extra fiber that slips through. Put this on. I'm a little spacey today, I have to admit, day five, and um, I haven't had anything yet, like just water. So my body's like, hey, give me some calories. So we're getting some calories in. All right, so I'm gonna put this bowl here to catch the fiber, and then I'm gonna put a nut milk bag. Well, I'll do that later. I'm gonna put my little glass pitcher, make sure it's lined up, because I've had it happen, especially with beets, be careful, where it goes all over the counter because your bowl's not lined up. And then you got the choice of two pushers. This one is plastic. So if you're pushing it onto the blades, you might be getting plastic in your food. They also provide you with a wooden one, which I always use. I would guess I would call this a dowel. Then I'm gonna just turn it on and I wanna show you how, I don't know if you can hear me, how fast and quick 
the uh, juice gets the leaves go through. I hope you can see this. It just sucks them in. It's pretty, really fun. And I just, I love, I mean, I use my nut milk bag a lot for making juice, but I just love this Green Star. I kind of have brought it out of hiding after a couple of years of, of only using my nut milk bag to juice, my blender, my nut milk bag. And I was like, well, since I'm on such a long fast, I'll play around with this thing again. Why not? You can see there's a lot of juice coming out the end. Um, and that is actually, uh, I'm going to strain that through the nut milk bag because I don't want to miss out on any of that juice. I'm going to throw some mint leaves in too. I had mint leaves yesterday. I'm actually growing some of my garden, so once those come in, I can juice those. Um, but throw some mint in there. Mint is super amazing. High in a lot of nutrients. I don't know them all right now. You could look it up. Mint is good. Beets are good. I can smell that mint. I'm just pushing all these beet greens through. And I'm not going to bore you with all of them because I want to kind of get on with it. But... These stalks are almost like the beets. They turn everything really red. I actually had a white shirt on, and I was like, I need to change the purple just in case I drip on myself. Don't wear white when you're making beet juice. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put in is some celery, and I'm just going to throw one stalk through. Oh, I'm using the wrong. Okay, one thing about juice fasting is you do get a little spacey, and that's why it's important to have the juice. Water fasting, you know, that's a whole other topic. Um, if you're water fasting, you're going to get, you're not going to be able to do your normal life. And I wanted to be able to do my normal life, so I'm doing juice. And I feel like my body actually likes it better to do juice than water. It's just, I can function, but I am a little spacey, like I said. So I'm going to use the nut milk bag to strain this juice, and we're going to put it into a pitcher. I get all these glass things from the thrift store. There's so many glass pitchers. Glass is always best. Um, yeah, I put some celery in. And then one other thing I wanted to just show you, I'm just doing this to kind of show you because I have some, already have some celery juice made. But um, if you want to juice a cucumber, the best way to do it in a green star, this is just kind of like one of my chef tips. Cut it in half long way, then cut it in half the other long way, and then cut it like that. So you have spears. The spears will go through the juicer. You can't see my juicer again. So I'll just push this back. Much easier than, I don't know if these are moving. Um, whoops, got to move everything up. Make sure it's going in. Yep, there it is. Um, spears will go through easier than if you're trying to like cram chunks in or like put a whole half in. Save yourself some trouble and don't, don't make the vegetables too big because it's going to cause you more work. The juicer is going to back up. So it's always better to err on the side of like making them a little too skinny than making them too fat and they'll get clogged up. Okay, so I've got some cucumber in there. So, so far we've got beet greens, cucumber, and why don't I put a little bit of beet in? I'll tell you guys about the benefits of beet while I'm cutting it. So beet uh, regulates blood pressure. And I think I'm going to leave that end on, right? Like, I washed it. Why not get all the parts? And you never want to peel vegetables. Look how pretty that is. Can you guys see that? I always feel like the inside of vegetables are like a mandala. Super pretty. That's like art, right? You could print it on some paper. Um, or, you know, ink it on the paper. So I'm just going to do a quarter of a beet because I am watching how much, you know, I'm going to use air quotes, sugar I'm getting. So because I am keto, and I was already, I did three grapefruits yesterday, and I'm already in ketosis today, so I'm realizing that on a uh, juice fast, your body stays in ketosis. Like, it might go out of ketosis right after you have the grapefruit juice, but it'll kick right back in. As long as you're not doing, like, fruit juice all day long, I really am limiting, limiting it to just a couple grapefruits a day or, like, one green apple or maybe one beet a day. I'm not like going crazy. And I usually save the, the higher glycemic vegetables for when I'm feeling low energy. Today I'm gonna to go roller skating again. So I'm probably gonna have some of this beet juice now and then I'll sell a little bit more later. But anyway, just put those in. And this juice is gonna be so beautiful. And the one thing to know about most juicers, well, especially the Green Star, is a lot of the stuff, like, so I put that beet in last, and I really want to make sure I get all the beet juice, so I'm going to use a celery kind of like as a cleanser, 
to like make sure I'm pushing all that beet through because a lot of times it tends to get stuck. The other thing I think I want to put in is some ginger. Grab my ginger. Ginger and beet go so well together. So I'm just going to throw in, that's probably way too much. If you overdo the ginger, it's going to be too hot. So really just like a one tablespoon chunk. Put that in. And then the last thing I'll put in, just kind of also as a cleanser, is about, I don't know, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice, which is about the equivalent of a lemon. I like my stuff really lemony. I just love things sour. And liver is super cleansing. I mean, lemon is super cleansing for the liver. So all this beet stuff is super liver cleansing. And when you're on a fast, your liver is naturally going to want to cleanse. So let's see, it manages diabetes, it has anti-cancer properties, improves digestion, uh, prevents osteoporosis, improves liver health, uh, rich in vitamin A, reduces inflammation, boosts energy, and boosts your sex drive. So, so many good things about beets and uh, beet tops. So now what I'm going to do, and I hope this doesn't trip on my counter, um, is I'm going to move that juicer back. And look, it looks kind of rainbowy. Kind of fun, all the green and red together. And then I'm going to strain all of this through my nut milk bag, like so, and squeeze it. Now this is mostly beet tops and beets, so I only put like a couple stalks of celery and a one cucumber. So I'm going to add, which I juiced earlier, another two cups of celery juice because I kind of prefer my juices to be a little diluted, uh, not so, not so heavy in the sweet stuff. So there we go. We got a whole two more cups. And then I just save all my juices in glass jars. And you want to pour the juice all the way to the top because this prevents oxidation. If you're good, you could with a green star, they say, because it doesn't break the cell walls of the vegetables or the greens, you can keep this for three days. So if you're doing a juice fast and you're like, I don't want to juice every day, just spend one day juicing. And then, um, I'm going to drink this one, and then you don't have to keep juice, getting your juicer out every time. I've been juicing every day just because when you're on a juice fast for as long as I'm going to be on one, I'm on day five, and I know I'm going to keep going for at least two weeks, and maybe longer, maybe all summer, I don't know. Um, you want to get like up to a gallon, so that's eight of these a day of juice. And I have veggie broth that I'm adding in, and I'm doing... Um, hot teas. I have this deep liver detox tea. So it's really good. Mm. I can taste the beet. I can taste the ginger. And it was good that I didn't put more ginger in because this is a little spicy. It's sweet enough because I only put a quarter of a beet in. Um, and that's plenty sweet for me. I'll probably end up juicing the rest of this. But anyway, follow along with me. Um, and I will be day six tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you how to open a coconut. And we're going to put in some blue magic, which is a blue-green algae. And I'm going to make like a blue coconut water for drinking on a fast. And um, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.